newsroom for us. What do we know about this, Sadia? Um, well, Kimberly, I'm still trying to figure out exactly what this statement means. I'll read it out to you first and then we can talk about it. He says in it, During my nearly 20-year ownership of Chelsea FC, I have always viewed my role as a custodian of the club, whose job it is uh, ensuring that we are as successful as we can be today, as well as build for the future while also playing a positive role in our communities. I have always taken decisions with the club's best interest at heart. I remain committed to these values and that is is why I am today giving trustees of Chelsea's charitable foundation the stewardship and care of Chelsea FC. I believe that currently they are in the best position to look after the interests of the club, players, staff and fans. Now I've been trying to figure out what that means, I've been speaking to lots of other people and generally the, the idea is it's, it's quite vaguely worded, we don't know exactly what it means but uh, the Chelsea's charitable foundation which is a trust, essentially what he's done is uh, created some distance between himself and the club uh, and given the decision making powers to the foundation now so uh, it's sort of like uh, if you had any other typical trust uh, and you had trustees they would then um, make the decisions now the the interesting part is that with uh, any sort of process like this the overall owner can still end up taking back power of the club so uh, tr trust law is of course very complicated and i haven't got my head around it just yet but uh, the, the decision making can still come back to him uh, if the trust were to be um, to be closed uh, as such um, now I've spoken to uh, the father of a, a first team player at Chelsea who says that uh, they didn't get a heads up on this. It came as uh, a surprise to them, just as it did to many of us, uh, seeing that tweet from the club earlier today, which had the club's uh, statement in it. Uh, Roman Abramovich, of course, under a lot of pressure uh, uh, currently with everything that's going on in Ukraine. Uh, so I guess there was an expectation that something might happen, especially because the club's uh, manager, Thomas Tuchel, uh, in the lead up to tomorrow's Carabao Cup final, uh, he was asked about the situation and he said that it is uh, causing strain on the players. Um, he said that it has clouded uh, the atmosphere uh, leading up to such a big final. Roman Abramovich, of course, the owner since 2003, used to be in the box a lot watching the games, but hasn't been since 2018 when he withdrew that visa application uh, in 2018.